Greetings from Ace Engineering College. Vanajay here, Assistant Professor of IT Department. I would like to throw some light upon your career opportunities. Two reputed companies. One is Accenture, another one is Cognizant. Before getting into the insights of these two companies, I would like to quote Abraham Lincoln. To predict your future the best, you have to create it. So let's start with Accenture. It's a multinational software services company, also a CMMI level 5 development company. The level 5 itself says the standard of the company. Looking forward for the job locations, it operates in Hyderabad, Bangalore, Chennai. Also, their operations are in 49 countries and 200 plus cities. Next, coming to the salary package, it is providing salary package of 4.5 LPA to 6 LPA. Coming to the job profile, we have three categories, Associate Software Engineer, Advanced Software Engineer and finally Application Development Associate. Looking into the job role of these three categories, Associate Software Engineer at Accenture has the responsibility to, to design, develop, assemble, support and configure applications according to the business needs. Next one, ADA, Application Development Associate. He will be the entry and he will be the fresher and he will be trained for three months. What about this advanced application software engineer? He will be rechecking the work done by the advanced uh, associate software engineer at Accenture. Steps involved in recruitment process. We have four steps, mock assessment test, technical and coding assessment test, communication assessment test, finally interview. Is it necessary to attend mock assessment test? Yes, it is important and it is necessary. Why? Because it you can analyze the standard of the company by attending the mock assessment test. Not only that, you can get the sample questions, time management and the compatibility of your system, also the pattern of the paper. And finally, all the students to attend the mock assessment test to analyze and update yourself to the standards of the company. Next coming to required skills and one more important point here I have to mention is nowadays tests are structured. So take a calm and peaceful atmosphere and make yourself comfortable in a lonely and secure place to attend the mock assessment test. Next required skills. Programming languages, problem solving skills, Python, debugging, JavaScript, software testing, finally communication skills. The caption of this action is high performance delivered. So I suggest and I request all the students to deliver your high performance. Next outstanding company is Cognizant. Let's have a look details and what is the profile of this cognizant company? It's a multinational software product and services development company in the world. It is also a CMMI level 5 certified software development company. Level 5 itself says the standard of the company. And looking into the job profile along with it packages are we have software developer under the three categories are there. One is Gen C4. It provides 4 lakh per annum. Next one is Gen C Pro 4.5 LPA. The other one is Gen C Next which is having 6.75 LPA. Finally looking into the job role. What does a software developer do? And what are the responsibilities he have? Software developer has to develop the software. Also manage the database he has to design the database and together he has to maintain the software along software and database together and also he should have the sound knowledge in networking and web services beauty and cognizant the company itself providing digital nurture training program for a student if they feel he is eligible and confident they will provide this training program and if he succeed in all the succeeding process successfully he during the training program he will be given a package of 6.75 lpa 
For that, requirement skills in cognizant is profound knowledge of programming languages, proficiency in software testing, familiarity with Node.js, UAA path, strong analytical and problem solving abilities, also excellent communication skills. To conclude this discussion with what are the capabilities the student should have to acquire or to attain a very good job in these MNC companies or reputed companies. Everyone, every student should always strive, learn, upskill. Finally, I wish you good luck and I hope all this video will be useful. Thank you.